Welcome to Managing Myeloma. My name is Bob Orlowski, and I'm the director of the myeloma section as well as the chair of the Department of Lymphoma Myeloma at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in nice, warm, and humid Houston, Texas. I'm frequently asked, why should a myeloma patient who has a previous history of bone lesions have a bone study as part of current response assessment? And I think this is an important question because although we do not want to overdo radiographic studies, there also are times when it's very important to repeat such studies. The most obvious time is if some patient is having a new bony ache, and that of course can indicate the presence of new bony disease or fractures which need to be evaluated. A second example is that sometimes myeloma can be somewhat tricky. On occasion, you have myeloma patients whose myeloma has always made a protein that can be detected in the blood or urine, but then at times it can switch into one that no longer makes a protein. And so you can be fooled by the blood and urine tests into thinking the myeloma is getting better, but in fact it may be worsening and one way to tell that is by either doing a bone marrow or by looking for the development of new bony lesions. Another reason to look at bone x-rays, or in some cases you may need to think about magnetic resonance imaging or also even positron emission tomography, is that sometimes you can have discordant findings where the myeloma numbers are improving but there is bony progression and that really means that patients should be switching in all likelihood to a different therapy. And then finally, remember that bisphosphonates like zoledronic acid can be used at multiple times during the course of myeloma therapy. If you had bone disease at baseline and received roughly one to two years of therapy, you should probably not receive more but if you then progress in the future with new bony disease, especially after a few years, repeat treatment with zoledronic acid or another drug in that compound area would be important to reduce the risk of future progression. So for all of these reasons, although it should not be done routinely, repeat radiographic imaging at some frequency is still an important part of management of myeloma patients. Thank you for viewing this activity and for additional resources please view the other educational activities on managingmyeloma.com.